sister was six years old. She was a shy, cute, and adorable young child. Whenever her family and my family went on a trip, she would call me, Ani, and play with me. One day, when I came back from school, I sensed something was wrong. The house was that silent, as if I was the only person in the house. In the living room, I saw my brother on the sofa. I asked him where mom was, and he told me that mom was crying because my cousin's sister, Kayun, was sick. Then my mom came out of her room and told us to put on our jackets. We went by hospital by taxi. Everything was all too sudden for me to understand. I only hoped that my cousin was right. When we got at the hospital, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and all the other cousins were there. I sensed how you could be in a worse situation than I had hoped. Then Hanyu's mom came out of the pediatric intensive care unit. She was crying. She was crying. She told me and family members that her daughter needed a pendectomy. The words on surgery soon appeared on the monitor. We prayed and waited for her. After about three hours, the surgery was finished, so we went to see her. I hoped that she would greet me a smile when she was asleep. All I wanted to do is to stay beside her and pray for her, but my mom insisted that we go home. I was worried. I could only hope and pray that my little cousin would stay strong. The next day, I went to the hospital again. This time, only to find that I would never see her smile, nor hear her sweet voice. She had already passed away. My cousin's death came to me as a shock. I couldn't believe what had happened. I thought she would be right soon enough and we would play together again, just like we used to be during our trips. But she was no longer alive to play with. During the funeral, I could not help myself from crying. My mom comforted me, telling me she went to the heaven earlier than us, and someday we will meet her again. But nothing could console and comfort me. I couldn't accept the fact that she was no longer with us. Even after the funeral, it was a hard time for everyone in our family. It was something no one had expected. The word was to me to take away the life of a six-year-old girl. It has been two years since she left us, but to us, it was longer than that. The day when our large family gathered together, there was the only unfamiliar silence instead of chattering and laughing. We were all wearing the gloomy faces. To brighten up the people, cousins and I were nice to small concert family members, but we were all reminded of Hanyu. Her death left an enormous gap in our lives, and her memories are enshrined in our hearts. We still remember her and miss her so much. After my cousin's death, I came to realize that even the existence of family members is so important. At times, we expect more than we need from our family. For the first time, I appreciated my family for their mere presence. So, appreciate family's existence and love. Most of us feel awkward or even embarrassed to express our emotions and feelings to family members. But, family is precious as much as your life is worth. So before you regret bitterly, express your love Thank you. Why not today?